Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Sarah. I'm so glad that you're here. I make home decor video content all the time. I also make a lot of lifestyle content like um, cook with me's and cleaning videos and mom stuff. I also have um, plus size fashion and beauty, all the type of stuff. So if you um, are interested, I'd love it if you stuck around. And if you also haven't already, definitely follow me on my socials. Um, both my Instagram and TikTok will be linked in the description box for you. But enough of that. Today's video is really exciting because it kind of goes into connection conjunction with my last video if you haven't already seen that one I will put a card above um, that I definitely recommend you to go watch it because it'll answer a lot of your questions but a brief little thing is that we're moving so we're actually moving into a house in just a couple of weeks I am so excited and I'm also so incredibly stressed out, but it's going to be great, and I'm trying to remain optimistic. I just loathe the actual moving process. I get really, really, really overwhelmed and really stressed. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, um, I would love it. If you follow anybody that does a lot of like really good moving content or something, just let me know because I'm feeling stressed, okay? It's coming together, we're doing okay, but I'm, I am definitely stressed out. But um, if you want to know all the details, like I said, and um, that also I'll show also has a vlog um, for part of it as well, and that takes you through some of our renovation uh, process, some really big renovations, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, I love how the house is coming together, and I think you guys will too. So definitely check that out if you haven't watched it and if you're having some questions. But today's video is going along with that because we are talking home decor. So. I am not only showing you some of um, our home decor items, but they're going to be kind of broken up into spaces. Um, and I want to share with you guys kind of my mood boards um, and room design ideas that I have to go along with it. So originally I was going to have a haul in this video and then decorate um, at the end with it with all of the pieces, but um, some of the furniture and just larger items aren't in yet. And I just don't think it, it just, it wouldn't be give you the oomph that I really wanted. So instead I will make those a separate video. Either I will make them into a vlog uh, by themselves or have just a whole separate video um, of decorating with you. Just let me know what you guys would rather see, like a room tour or decorate. Let me know what you guys want to see based on that. But um, I will share with you guys the items today as well as my inspiration and kind of where we're going with it. Um, and part of this video um, is sharing you with those things, but it's also a sponsorship video. I'm super excited to um, share with you guys the sponsor today. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me through all of the many years and being so awesome to the brands that choose to work with me. Today's brand is Timu. If you guys haven't already um, shopped with them, they are a incredibly large e-commerce website and they have just about any type of thing that you could ever think of at a great and incredible price. Um, I have shopped there many times previously myself. I've actually placed multiple orders for things for our move that I'm going to share with you that I bought with my own money as well as the great things um, that Timu has gifted to me as well. Um, I will have all of the descriptions and links and everything linked down for you below. Um, but my biggest thing and why I choose to shop on Timu is because that all of the popular things that you're seeing on Amazon and things I see on TikTok all the time and things that are like, this is so awesome, I got this on Amazon and all this stuff and it's all the popular um, home decor items and either they're sold out or they're sold out in the color you want or whatever, they typically are the exact same things you can get on Timu but for like a third of the price. I kid you not, it's happened over and over and over and over again and I have been so excited and it literally feels like a knife in the gut when I can't find it off of Timu and I have to go pay full price for it on Amazon. So if you've seen a lot of like trendier things lately that you really want but they're sold out or you're like I don't know if it's worth the $30, definitely check out Timu because I'm telling you you will find it and you will be so thankful that you did. All right, so the two rooms that we are designing and I want to share with you. The first one is the girls' room. Um, it's exciting. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm super excited, but I can't wait to talk to you guys about the playroom. But first, the girls' room is um, going to be a little bit more older for them, a little bit more 
big girlish, more tweenish, if you will. Um, not that their room was super little kitty now anyway, but just a little bit more grown up. Mostly they are actually just getting two twin size beds. They've had bunk beds this whole entire time or since they grew out of their toddler beds. Um, but we just haven't had the space to have two full twin beds in their room. Um, and so that's something that they've really been wanting. Um, so we ha are waiting on, that's one of the things we are waiting on um, to come in. Um, but we're going with two twin beds and they really want some really beautiful soft pastels in their room. They're very into cottage core right now, but they want it to be really soft and pretty. And they also like the modern kind of vibe. I don't know, we've been mixing a lot of different things. I think it's gonna turn out really, really good. Um, of course, I will have that mood board up for you guys to kind of see the idea that we're going with. Um, I think that it is perfectly age appropriate age appropriate for them and feels a little bit more mature, a little bit more big girl, but it's still very much them um, and all of the things they're interested in and all the really pretty colors and I think it's going to come together come together really, really well. Um, and I found so many good things from Timu for that particular design style because it's something that is so popular right now. Um, and it was super easy to just constantly, I'm like, okay, add a cart, add a cart, add a cart, add a cart, because they had so many cute things. The other room that I am so excited to share with you guys is the playroom and I was on Pinterest looking for design styles for the playroom kind of area because this will be the first time that they really have a dedicated space that's not their room to be able to play and create and draw and all of that stuff for them and so I was looking for some ideas but everything that I was finding just really wasn't me it wasn't them I wasn't loving anything um, but I thought about it and I was like you know what how would it be so cute if we put some Taylor Swift wall prints up and then it ran from there and we are having a Taylor Swift themed playroom. Um, I'm trying to think of a really cute title for it. I haven't decided. Um, if you have a really cute like Taylor Swift themed room like name idea because we've been naming the rooms for fun and so if you have an idea let me know because I could even create like a little sign. I think it'd be really cute. Anyway, um, I am the biggest Swifty. Um, I have loved her since the beginning. And I've definitely gotten my girls into Taylor Swift and we all were literally sobbing when we couldn't go see her this year um, for the Eras Tour and we have since watched many people's uh, Eras content, Eras Tour content and we have just dreamed of the day that we can all go together. I think li quite literally, I get emotional when I talk about this because it's, and it's so silly, but like I cannot wait for all of us to go together and share that like night with each other. Like I feel like it's gonna be the best night of my life having um, being able to celebrate and party it up with Taylor Swift and bring my two girls with me and I have seen so many videos of dads doing that with their daughters and it like makes me sob and their moms do it with their daughters and it makes me sob so I cannot wait for the next tour um, when we can go and see her and I think it's going to be fantastic anyway Instead, we are gonna make a room for her. <laughs> um, and I have found so many cute ideas. I am so excited to share it with you guys. So the mood board, um, you guys will be able to see as well. And it is all coming together, friends. So um, we're just gonna dive in now. And um, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff that we got for each room. So some of these items, I haven't quite figured out which space they're going for because they could work for both spaces. Um, so if I have a very specific like oh this is gonna be in the playroom or this is gonna be in the girls room then I will let you know um, but I'm just gonna start showing you you just know that the kind of the area that they're going with first things first I am obsessed with disco balls I've been obsessed with disco balls for quite some time but I've been collecting them for over three years now and I love them but of course every Swifty knows that they're mirror balls and um, you can't have a Taylor Swift area without disco balls or mirror balls. So this is actually a little planter. It is super cute. It has three little rings all on the side that you can hang and it comes with its little hanger right here. Um, I don't think I'm actually gonna put anything to plant inside of it. I have a large disco ball that I stumbled upon on the thrift store. Um, if you don't know anything about disco balls, they can be incredibly expensive. This little thing one is, is one of the absolute shiniest ones that I actually have. You can see how the light is reflecting off 
off of it um, and this was like six dollars and that's not including all the bajillion coupons and sales that they constantly have um, and so this one is just so gosh darn cute and pretty and of course if you want to put things in it and plant things you can they do have different sizes on there as well but of course we have to have a disco ball so right now I have this one and a larger one I may get kind of a middle range size um, and do go with three. Right now I just have two, I haven't quite decided. I do also have um, like a little house that I think I'm gonna make into the lover's house and put uh, that has disco ball, it's right here on my mantle that has a bunch of disco balls in it as well. So I just may put that one up there. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm still making it through, but I have to have at least two disco balls in there. The next thing I have, this is something that I've seen all over TikTok, all over Amazon, and it's a pair of lips. So they had it in multiple colors. They had it in this really pretty light baby pink one and then a red one. Um, I got the pink because originally this was gonna go in the girl's room, but now I think it's going in the Taylor Swift area, although red would have been more signature to, to Taylor. So maybe I'll just order a red one as well. <laughs> and then um, this one to be in the girl's room. I originally got it just so they could put like their Bobby pins or like little like barrettes or clips and stuff that are small in here or like their little um, post earrings um, so it could be just a little collection bowl um, but for the Taylor Swift one I think I'm gonna get like acrylic gummy bears and fill it in there for fun I don't know but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna order the red one <coughs> excuse me anyway just really cute really nice quality the exact one that they sell on Amazon for like double triple the price so super cute I've seen this all over um, TikTok and was super excited to find it on Timu for their playroom area we are going to put um, kind of their art cart out there I have a cart in my kitchen right now that we've had for a long time that has been really helpful to add some extra storage space um, and we've been using it for like their the kids lunch stuff but now we I'm gonna just use it up um, and revamp it a little bit and we're gonna make it into their like art cart um, they both love to draw and create and color and paint and all that stuff they have a bunch of art supplies and we now need a space to put them so that cart is perfect um, and they recently both got some alcohol based markers which are fantastic um, and are the best markers in town I feel like um, obviously for older kids because they are highly permanent and stainable and you know they're they're not Crayola but um, they have been keeping them in their little cases but I think they'd be so pretty to have them kind of displayed um, with all of the colors it just looks like more fun so I got these two um, little marker bins and they fit their little markers perfect perfectly and they'll just keep them all displayed really nice and organized as well as look really pretty so these were like next to nothing little acrylic um, dividers and they look so nice on that same note of acrylic or just like plastic um, like storage and stuff like that and on their art cart I got this set some of these I purchased myself some of these I've gotten sent I've got multiple of different types these are these really cute little plastic bins and containers they come in multiple sizes um, and then they're obviously stackable they have these like little you see these like raised little feet and then the bottoms of them have like little holes and you just stack them on and they stay still these are I, don't know, I think these are like a dollar something and they're far better than things you can get at Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot these are so nice they're so cute something else that I really appreciate about these is that they are easily stored if you don't want to use them and don't want to take up space because they pull apart and you can just collapse them and fold them and I'll show you how that works um, with these so those like this uh, all of these shades are super fun and they make me think of eras so they're gonna go on the art cart but these ones are gonna go in the girls room so the main like color story for their bedroom is this really pretty uh, purple color and this really pretty kind of like baby pink color now I'll show you really quickly what this looks like but um, as you can tell these fold down perfectly so they don't take up much space if you decide hey I don't need these storage containers right now um, and you can just put them away in a closet or underneath the bed um, which I love anyway you open them up and they fold out like this and then they just clip 
together. And when they clip, to clip, clip together, they clip together well. They're not like super incredibly like, oh, clip in, clip out, pull apart. You gotta use your muscles to pull them apart, but they do just fine. Um, and then you have your little bin. So these are gonna go in their um, like nightstand area so they can have a little space for storage for their like chargers or I don't know. I just think that they're cute so they can go in their nightstand area. Um, I'm sure we can find many uses for them, but I got multiple color colors and sizes. So I got two of these and then two in the purple. And then I also got this little guy, which is purple, and he's going to go on their like vanity area. Um, I'm giving them my vanity table and I'm going to change it out and do a little vanity makeover and makeup. Um, set up makeover which will be one of my next videos but I'm giving them my old vanity which will work perfect for their room but it is a two-story house and in the mornings I typically will like make them breakfast during school days and stuff like that and then I have to go um, and like I'm running around and everything and then I'm doing their hair on the couch or in my room or all over the place and so um, with it being a two-story house, I just know it's gonna be harder to like, oh, go back upstairs, let's do your hair. So instead, I got them this little basket that I can put all of their like little hair ties and clips and stuff in that I can just take with me to and fro. Um, so it's just easy and organized and it's super cute and purple and it makes me happy and it'll fit perfectly all of their little rubber bands and hair ties and a little brush sticking out and a little their little spray water bottle. It'll be perfect. So it's just cute. Um, and again, this was something I just literally opened up and did it right then and there and it'll fold down perfectly as well so love them they're adorable and they have a billion colors and sizes and they're so cheap um speaking of their vanity area i got this acrylic um scrunchie holder so we have one right now that i've been using it's from dollar tree and it's actually a paper towel roll holder um and it totally works but i think that the acrylic ones can look super cute. So I'm gonna take the paper towel one and keep that in like the bathroom area where it's not as cute. And all their cutest scrunchies are gonna go on here to be kind of on display on their like vanity makeup area. So I just thought it was really cute, inexpensive, great way to store your scrunchies and display them because your scrunchies are cute. So it's a good way to like add a little home decor for your teen or tween's room, um, but also be useful. This is another thing that I've seen all over TikTok and um, Amazon, and that is the little strawberry vase. So they have this in pink, red, and green. I got the pink, again, originally, because I was gonna put this in the girls' room. This I had designed their whole room before I did the playroom area, um, and so again, things are kind of interchangeable at the moment, but I still really love the little pink strawberry. I think it's so cute and happy, um, and you can put little flowers in, in here, or little pens, or something, but I just thought it was so cute and like fun to display. So we have the pink strawberry. Um, and like I said, it comes in other colors and is the exact one that I see all over the internet for double or triple the price. Because Amazon and sellers on Amazon just upsell it. Um, and you can get it for cheaper if you buy kind of like straight from the source, essentially. Or wholesale. These next two things are going to be going in the girls' room um, above their vanity area. So I got these two wire racks. They're this really pretty kind of, it's like in between a pinky purple. It's really, really pretty. Um, and they come with multiple different ways to hang them. They have like sticky wall hangers if you can't use, if you can't put nails in your walls and then actual like um, hooks to go into your walls. But I got two of these um, and they are gonna go up behind the girls' vanity area and that's where they're going to be able to display some of their fun artwork and little like mood boards and inspiration things the girls create stuff like that all the time but we just haven't had the space or an area to do it and so i thought these would be perfect to hang up there and then i also got them a pack of um like multicolored clips that we could use as well that uh, the racks came with two safety pins in each, or clothes pins in each um, package, but I also got just a pack of little um, clips to go on it as well um, to when we add more. And to go along with that, the girls were really big about having collage walls. I know that those are like really popular um, right now, especially for tweens and stuff and teens. And so they had a ton of like postcards and prints. And so um, this was the diary of my heart set and they're just really pretty like little prints 
um, that kind of like fit the colors and themes of their areas. So they can hang these on the little wired racks or we're gonna create a, diff a really cool collage wall um, and we can change them out as need be. But they're just fun and they're cute and they make you happy. Um, and there's a ton of them in here. So if you, again, these are things that you can find on Amazon all over the place, um, but are a lot more expensive. And this is, these are so much cheaper but there's a ton in here so you really can mix and match and um create the collage that you want i also got two other packs <laughs> um this one is in the just blue and it's just a bunch of blue uh different images and prints and patterns and graphics um all the like really popular kind of design styles right now and it comes with just a ton of them they're really cute and fun um also like with like just i don't know all the prints and stuff that you've seen that are pretty cool they also have some cute like graphic images and word art word art anyway just a bunch of different ones um again a giant stack of them and we're going to mix and match because the room colors are that pink and blue and purple and green. And just like really soft, sweet pastels. And then lastly, we also got um, this one, which is in multicolor. And again, another just really pretty pack of, I'm trying to get them all out, pack of kind of like postcard sized um, prints. So really cute and fun and pretty and just nice because they're nice and thick like postcards so they're not going to just like fall and be really flimsy and tear i know a lot um of people are printing them but it just takes up a lot of ink and their paper um or getting them like printed from you know at photos which can be really expensive but these are just like a perfect little size and pack and I love them. So we got three of them for the girls and we're gonna all kind of work together and create the collage that they would like. And then um, I got this really cute little wall tapestry that says, keep your dreams. And it's just super cute. I love the checkered. I love the baby like blue um, color and the flower. It's really cute. It's really nice and just easy to hang. Um, and it's a perfect size because it, you know, it's obviously larger than like that little four by six. And it is a good little wall art size, but it's just not a giant tapestry. They have a ton of different tapestries, a ton of different sizes, but I just really liked this one. I'm gonna have to kind of iron it out because I've had it folded but it's adorable and it's gonna look so cute in their room and totally fit the theme. They want their room's colors basically to be this. <laughs> um, half a like pretty lavendery lilac color and half a baby pink color. So we're trying to nail down the exact colors and shades, but we're gonna do, we're just going to fall out. We're gonna let them have fun with it because they're kids and that's something that my mom let me do and it was something I really, really appreciated. When I was a teenager, she painted my room hot pink with green polka dots because I definitely went down the pink and hot Green, or hot pink and lime green phase and then when I was older in high school she let me paint it um, two-toned and it was like a tealish aqua color and like a purple and then I had like a black and white bedspread and she just let me like explore and be creative and I really appreciated it and so I really want my girls to be able to have that um, inspiration as well. Here are some of my Taylor Swift um, prints. So I got these printed or these from Timu and they are kind of on like this canvas material um, and so you can hang them as is again or you can get them framed. I think that I will probably frame them but we have mirror ball and then we have uh, her Midnight's album with the song titles. These I've seen exactly on uh, Amazon as well. Again another mirror ball one. I got two sets. One I paid for and ordered myself, and one that um, I uh, did with Timu um, when they gifted me some things, and they're the exact same quality, um, and just so gosh darn cute. I can't wait to frame these and hang them up in the space. They're adorable, and I love them. So um, they have a bunch of things like this. Again, on there, I love the kind of like canvas style prints they're just a little bit better and I know that they're not going to like rip and get hurt um and I can just roll them up and keep them like safe but I just think they're so cute and they're so fun so um that is our set 
And those are some of the prints that are going to go in our Taylor Swift um, room, if not all of the prints that are going there. I haven't quite decided what I'm hanging quite yet, but most of these, if not all of them, are hanging and I can't wait. <laughs> I found my other thing of Taylor Swift prints. I knew I did. I was like, where'd the rest of them go? These can't be all of them. So I just want to share. These are the ones that I purchased myself. And then the other ones um, are the ones that Timu uh, gifted me. And after I collected quite the cart of fun items. So we have All Too Well, classic. One of my girl's favorites. Um, another mirror ball. I'm taking one of the mirror balls and hanging up in our space. I just don't know which one it is. Um, You're On Your Own Kid, which is one of my faves. And Champagne Problems, which is one of my faves. And then we have Mastermind. And Cowboy Like Me. Anyway, super gosh darn adorable. I love them. They make me so happy. Again, the exact same quality that like really fun. I've never had anything printed on this, so I'm like really excited for this type of thing. Um, but canvas style print, and um, I love these. I This one's just so happy and cute. Well, song's kind of sad, but it's a, I love the print. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to use this one to hang up um, for me. These next two things are things that I ordered myself. Um, I ordered these little flower pillows again something that's like really popular right now um and are just really cute i originally got these for the girls room i can't decide decide yet if i'm going to put them in the girls room or in the playroom area um but they're just cute they're about the size of my head they're not super giant um but they're they're fluffy and they're soft and they make me happy and they give um like a nice fun like trendy vibe to this space. Um, they did come in a bunch of different colors. They have a bunch of different shaped flowers. They have a bunch of everything. So um, I just thought these were really cute and would go really well um, in their room, but now maybe in the playroom, but they've been folded up. So they're all kind of wonky shaped. I need to, they've been like in their little plastic because I've just been collecting stuff and putting it um, to in boxes and keeping it. And so they're all kind of wonky because I've let them be all folded up and all weird, but I'm going to let them kind of puff up a little bit um, but they're just so cute and they make me happy so those are um, some fun pillows this was something that I've seen all over again the internet um, and on Amazon I've almost ordered them multiple times on Amazon and I um, have them in my like little girls room d design decoration what is the gosh darn thing like my little saved list for the girls room there are these fun wavy mirrors. So I'm trying not to blind you. Um, I've got one in pink and I'll show you the purple one. These I purchased myself and paid for myself. Um, and I honestly was very curious when I got these because it is a mirror, what the quality would be like, if it would be nice quality, if it would be cheapy um, because of the price. And I think people was like expectations for Timu um, or just like, because the prices are so low. This is the exact same thing they sell on Amazon. Um, it is so cute. I love the pink little like frame of the mirror. It is matted, um, like velvet, you know, faux velvet, like a picture frame in the back with a hanger. Um, I think one of these is going to go on the girl's vanity so they can have a mirror to get ready. And one of them may go in their playroom area. I'm still not a hundred percent certain, but I got a pink one. I couldn't decide on the color. So I ordered both because the price was so good. So I got a pink one. Um, probably for Olive. And then I got this purple one for Ellie. And this purple is so pretty. This really beautiful purple. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this on because I don't wanna blind you again, but still, same thing. Anyway, really, really pretty purple color. Um, a nice size. Obviously, it's not like super giant, but it's perfect for them. I also really appreciate this like if the outside is plastic and so i just feel like it's a little bit safer because there's it's a glass mirror um and i don't want them it to shatter and then hurt themselves um and this just feels really nice and durable and it's like nice and kind of beveled and thick on the outside where it kind of protects that mirror if you can see so i love these turned out so good i'm so excited um and if you've been eyeing these as well uh, i do believe they also have at least one other color um, but if you've been eyeing these as well, then definitely save your money and get them off of Timu. 
The other thing about Timu that's really fun is that they have obviously a, a bunch of coupons, but they also have like fun games that you can play to be able to win free items. Um, and you get to pick the items. They don't just randomly like, here, you get a scrunchie. You get to pick the items you want um, to, they have ways to win like gift cards and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I have played them myself um, without working with Chimu or anything like that and got stuff. So um, it's just really fun and I will spend hours scouring the site looking for some fun things because they have so much stuff. So um, definitely check them out below. Like I said, I will have everything linked. If you've been eyeing some of these things and you're just like, I don't want to spend $30 for a small strawberry bust, go on Timu and spend a third of the price. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to share with you guys um, the spaces when they are completed. I will, of course, like I said, do a room tour, like decorate with me um, when it's ready to go. And next video, next video, next one of my next videos is going to be um, a home decor haul for some of the other stuff that I picked up from Timu um, for like my spaces. So we are having the library that we've been working on, and so I got a couple of things for that. Like I said I'm also completely redoing my makeup setup and I just want it to be a bit more sophisticated and pretty and so I got a bunch of different things to help me organize and I need to go through it all um, my makeup and just get rid of so much stuff but um, I'm gonna share with you guys all the fun things I got for that and I can't wait to show you guys everything um, keep an eye out for my new content I'm trying to just be on the ball and share with you guys as we go and the big progresses that we are making um, but thank you guys so much for watching I would love any and your, all of your advice below, um, recommendations for moving or for decor shops or for fun um, and or any uh, video ideas that you have and requests below. Don't forget to check out my previous video where I talk about um, kind of our moving process and where we're planning on going and any of that stuff. If you have any questions, I'm pretty sure I got to everything in that video. So if you're wondering, check that first because I um, went into pretty good detail. Um, and then I would love for you to see the space that we've been working on renovating, which is also in that video. Um, also, I cut my hair off. <laughs> um, you know, guys, I'm impulsive. I just do those things quite often, but my hair was super dead and yucky at the ends and it's hot and I was just over it and wanting something fun so I cut it all off. So um, right now it is definitely needing a good wash but uh, this is how you're getting it. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.